Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is pouring rain here in Nebraska. This sucks. I mean, it is absolutely just getting it. But what are you doing, boys? What are you waiting on, Junior? We got dad things to do. What's he? Was talking to me. Boy, we got things to do. What are you? Where are you going, Rick? Lumber yard. This is a video that you guys have requested quite a bit. Something I'm pretty excited to make. It is a homemade chicken coop. That's the plan today. We're gonna make a homemade chicken coop and actually some raised garden beds. And we're gonna plant some garden things, some food. Bonzo's always hungry. He's always, he's always stealing my food, so we gotta plant some food. Look at all the dad carts. Dude, there's so many of them. Just snag one of them. We may have to grab two. You ever just walk into Lowe's and go, <sighs> doing dad things today, smells like dad things. But yes, first I say let's do, let's do the garden first. At least get the lumber. We'll have to get the dirt and everything later. We're gonna have so much stuff to bring in the farm. It's gonna be a lot of stuff. So let's do the raised garden bed first, and then we'll do the chicken coop second. Yeah, this this will work for the size. Yes. Okay. That's what I use. All right, so let's just get. Should we just get four to be safe? Should we cut in half? Yeah, let's just get four to be safe. It's fine. It's only the size. So that would be the sides. The sides are done. Yeah. The two sides, then the ends. Probably how how wide it. do we want them? So we should just get four. Two feet. Is two feet high tall enough, or do you want it taller than two feet? So let's just get one of these. That one looks good. That's straight. So we need to get some garden bedding thingy and actual dirt and plants. plants. Okay. Hey, they're on sale though. Save five bucks. Those are nice though that they fold up that small. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's not part of the challenge, but I need I need sawhorses. These are really expensive, but they fold up, so I feel like I should get them. Nice and compact. Hey, bud. Yeah. Oh, hey, sorry, oh. sorry. You're okay. She's a jumper. It's okay. I'm right here. Fine. <laughs> How's it going, pup? Okay, let's just do five five by three is what we need. So three wide is good. Yeah. And 50 is plenty. Well, we don't need probably 50 actually. I guess we'll skip this. This is weed barrier. We don't really need it. I mean, we kind of need it. We don't really need it. Well, there's no weeds. It was just to hold the dirt in. If we don't have enough, you think we buy enough wood? That's the only thing. If we didn't buy enough wood, then we need this. If we did buy enough wood, we don't need this. Okay, so let's just get this and let's just get a little extra chicken wire and we'll be good. Two by 236. Now we're onto the chicken coop. We have four two by two by 36 spindles, deck spindles. <laughs> So like the decking screws are like, like these are the really nice wood decking screws, I think. So we need 44 inch and a half. All right, I'll just say screw it. We'll just buy 164 because I might run out. 200 inch, half inch long staples and a staple gun, need that. I mean, that's 1200, I only need 200. Electric staple nail gun, okay. Well, it's a nail gun too, sheesh. Yeah. Staples, done. Here we go, so this is kind of like an optional part you could just make this out of plastic. By the way, I got this idea from Lumna Acres, YouTuber, big fan Lumna, and uh, basically copying your entire video. So shout out to you. He used plastic, like literally a plastic water bottle for this to cut the cost, but I'm gonna actually use like real hinges just so I don't end up breaking them. So this is kind of like an optional part. If you guys are following along and whatnot, this is not necessary. If you're really trying to save money, you don't need to get this, but today we're getting it. Okay, now I see I made them out of plastic. These are expensive. Okay, again, we're not we're not putting this into the factor of the cost because this is totally optional. It's just what we're gonna do. Make it the correct way, but it's not the cheapest way. We should just get 24 by 24. It's wait, why is 24 <laughs> 50 feet? Why is that different? Poultry netting. It's got everything the exact same. It's cheaper. Yeah. You think your chickens gonna get through that? Mm, probably not. You can run okay, we'll get, let's get that. That looks treated. This, yeah, that's treated for sure. How do you get those? Who designed this? What you, what, is he just taking a break up there or what? He's over here just like, hmm, I'm gonna sit down for a bit. Okay, so we need 12. Let's just get like a couple extra. Yeah. Get like 14. All right, well, if you guys are trying to do stuff cheap, get dog-eared fence things. It's a lot cheaper than this, but I'm too lazy to go return it, so we're just gonna buy it anyway. It's not that, no, it's actually a lot more. Those were $10, this is the dollar. These were 12, yeah, these were 10 and those were a dollar. Damn. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I just spent way too much money. That's 12, 13? Should be 12. No, this should be 12. With one? Right. Yeah, I think so. Do you want a bag for any Yeah, of we'll bag all the stuff okay. up if we can. And we made it to the farm, folks. Finally. Look, our wood made it. 
How does it make you feel? Dad feel good. Feel good about it. Look yeah. at that shirt of yours. You ever heard of a damn iron? Oh! We gotta get this awning going. It's lunchtime already, folks. We literally just got started with our day, and it's already lunchtime. Let's get this awning going. Well, got the wieners. What are they, brats? Got brats on the on the grill. We got the mosquitoes out here, so bought this little squirt gun. Actually, Austin bought it. Do you know the thing is battery powered? What do you think the odds this works? We're going sniper style, long range. If I just cover this area, do you think I'll, the mosquitoes will stay away? What are the odds? Oh yeah. So I'll let you eat it first. Okay. All right, we're gonna cut into this guy, see if he's done. I think it's done. Yep. Yeah. It's hot. Hot. <sighs> That's pretty good. Dude, this is, what do, you, what do you, you ever see them tweets? I'm always referencing something. The struggle meal? Yeah. That's a That's struggle awesome. meal right there, son. Yeah. Straight up some one, one slice of Wonder Bread with a little mustard on a, on a bratwurst. A little ketchup will be good. Good. Here we go, folks. We are starting to build. We're gonna do the garden first, then we're gonna do the chicken coop. We did not buy soil and plants today. Lowe's didn't have the plants we wanted, and we figured, hey, let's just get it all at once. So that'll be a separate vlog. If you guys enjoy the garden videos, though, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoy the homemade chicken coop style videos, we don't have chickens, clearly, but you have to have a chicken coop before you get chickens. So we're thinking about getting chickens just for meat birdsies. Obviously, the chicken coop, well, I shouldn't say obviously, the chicken coop you're gonna see later is not for egg laying chickens, it's for meat birds. So we're gonna get started here. Like I said, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, let me know in the comment section down below, and we'll keep doing it. So let's get to work, Bob. Bob the builder. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna measure this. I think this is probably what, 10? 10. 10 ish. So we need to break that down in fourths. What's 10 divided by four? Two and a half. Freaking scholars out here. So two and a half would be right there. That's one. Then you go half and then you go full. Then you go full and then you go half. One, two, three. Wait, did I mess that up? I think you did. Two and a half is 10, yeah. But, but this, four? This right here. What'd you do right here? Half? Oh, I did a foot and a half. Sorry, yeah. I'm an idiot. I was like, I don't think that's where it should be. Okay, we're good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I thought I was smart. Yeah, he goes, freaking scholars. Let me grab my square. Carpenter square. I wouldn't exactly call it even. You think it's gonna matter? Probably not. Your tomatoes won't care. My tomatoes won't care. Listen, I'm not a craftsman. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. What are you? I am a wannabe everything, and I'm really bad at most of it. All right, step two. Well, we got the post done. Step two. These boards are 10 feet long, so we got to cut them in half because we're going to do a five by three section, or that's going to be our raised garden, I guess. So we're going to cut these, cut two of them in half. That'll be our sides, and then we got to do the other sides, and we start piecing it all together. So far, not doing too bad. You got it, Hercules? You want it or no, what? that's all you. You yeah. put it up there, son. Well, we got the sides done. You can see right here. These are the, the long sides. Now we gotta do the short sides. We're gonna do, now nah, you broke it. Now we're gonna do three feet. So it's gonna be six by three. I messed up. I said it was five by two and a half. These boards are 12 feet. We're just stupid. So we're doing six by three. So we need to cut that thing into four free, four equal pieces, put them all together, and then just start, start drilling and stuff. But so far, I haven't messed it up. Well, this will kind of give you guys a visual idea of what we're doing. We've got four posts, and then we're gonna have to add more sides so we add depth to it. But essentially, we're gonna do this, build it all, screw it all together, then flip it up, and then we'll have to fill in the bottom. But so far, I think it's looking decent. It's definitely not straight, I can tell you that much. We'll fix that later. A 
looks good. See, this side looks way better than you get over here and it's like, well, it's like Andrew did this side or something. It's like, uh, you know, it's whatever. I knew I messed up and I was literally just too late to unscrew it. I could have just unscrewed it, but it'll hold. I don't think dirt's that heavy, so we're good. So we gotta do another another layer so we can get some deeper soil. Cause we don't, we don't want six inches of dirt. We want 12. Dang, son, killing it. We killed the game. Well, the one thing we realized is we didn't think through the bottom thoroughly. We thought about it like for half a second. So we don't have enough wood. Essentially, if you wanted to finish this, what you would do is you would take that wood that we bought, just like this, and you would cut, the inside's 36, the outside's 38, so, cause you got an inch on each side. So you do 38 and you just do like planks all the way across like this and screw them in from the bottom and that would give you your bottom. But we didn't buy enough wood for that. We were thinking we were gonna do like, just a few supports and then some chicken wire and stuff. We didn't buy the right chicken wire for that. So we don't know what we're thinking. Essentially, this is how you build a raised garden bed. We'll finish the bottom of it in a different video, probably after we go get more wood. But comment down below, what should we plant? What do you guys wanna see? You guys wanna see some tomato? I like tomatoes, cucumbers, jalapenos, uh, bell peppers. Let me know in the comment section down below, what should we plant? But this video ain't over, folks. We gotta go build a chicken coop. All right, time for the chicken coop. Step one, take two of these, what is this thing called? Dog ear fence pickets or something. Cheap wood, two of these, and then two of your spindles. And that's it for right now. 30 and 3 eighths. Right there? Yep. Here we go, folks. Step one. Well, what step is this? Probably step three. Got some wood glue. So we've got them spaced out all the way, 72 inches. So these are gonna be one, one side. So we gotta do this twice. So I'm gonna lift this thing up. Smear a little bit of wood glue on there just for extra safety. Put that right down yonder. Don't want your chickens to escape. You don't want the chickens to escape. No, you don't. Yeah, look at that, we got two of the walls. Now all we gotta do is put the cross beams on. Everything looks somewhat symmetrical. So now we just grab a couple of these and take it over here. And then we're just gonna put it across like this. And right there. And then one at the bottom. And then one at the bottom and then one on the other side and about halfway done. This is actually really fast. We've actually probably only been doing this for about 15 minutes. We're about halfway done. <laughs> Oh, it didn't break. Where'd that wind come from? All right, well, we got all the sides up. Four sides. Now we gotta get the chicken wire on the sides. And then we're gonna do the roof and the latch and the, the hatch and the thinger. But now we gotta get, what do we have? This is um, this is 24 inch, 50 foot long, large hex, galvanized for durability. Poultry netting. So we're gonna basically just wrap around the whole thing and just staple gun around the whole thing so the chickens don't escape. chicken wire on boys that was step 17 and a half we got chicken wire now time for the roof this is where some some of it kind of gets a little co complicated ish grab a you want to grab a measuring tape on so this is, so remember these little things that you chopped off yep. you got to save them so these this is what we're gonna actually use them for supports here we're gonna go from this you're gonna go up to 36 inches make a mark now we gotta be the other side of the same thing what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take these guys. You're gonna line up this edge here, flush like this. And actually, this is where we can use some glue and some clamps. All right, so what we're gonna do is take some glue, spread it on there like that, and then just line it up about flush. Get the clamp on it. This clamp will help hold it in place. Glue me, brother! Next up, put some glue on top like that. Next step, cut one of these suckers, your full size piece of wood here, cut it in half to 36 inches. Oh dang, son. Freaking measured it perfectly. All right, next step, we're working on the door. So it's important 
to make to leave a gap right here otherwise your your door is going to get caught so probably do like a like three eighths of an inch okay so once you leave the gap take your gun we still have to put a support over here somewhere. all right good old-fashioned door hinges we're gonna install these guys while austin's getting chicken wire situated i think that'll work we can do three extra support Close enough. Hey, it works. All right, we got two more steps. Uh, I actually, I, I, I made an adjustment, didn't show you guys. Put another support here. Again, the original video that I got this idea from didn't do that. He put supports on the front. I definitely just mismeasured, but it ended up working out to where, you know, this is supportive. So now, honestly, all that's left, we gotta put chicken wire here on the door and chicken wire on this back half. That's not the door. So this is not the door. This will stay covered. And then this is where you can access it and all that other stuff. So. See if we can get this going. All right, final test. Boom! This is the chicken. Get in there, Bonds. What? Act like a chicken. I knew you were gonna say that. You look like the most like a chicken between us all. You look, you already got a white shirt on. He's like a white meat chicken. That's what meat chickens are, they're white. I mean, I'm sure they're multiple potatoes. colors. So when he, when he's naughty, I can just do this. And just fasten a little locking mechanism here. See, if he's just I could, I could not get out. I'd be, I'd be screwed. See, maybe fine. And then it's like, here, Bonzel, here's your food. Oh, yeah. Here's your water. And then when it rains, you just put a tarp over it. Or you put you put a tarp over the back half. So when it rains, they can kind of get back. And then this is what you do. So, so Bonzel grazes. He's gonna be grazing and eventually, you know, maybe after a few days, it's gonna look brown right here. So then it's simple. You just do this. You just move it. You move it 10 feet and then they graze. And then you move it another 10 feet and then they graze. It's called a chicken tractor. But hey, if you guys wanna build this, we actually totaled it up 25 bucks. If you're really trying, we spent maybe 40, maybe 50. But that's cause I mean, I spent like $8 on hinges and I got, chicken more chicken wire than necessary and everything else but essentially if you're really balling on a budget 25 bucks you can do it and you could honestly if you really knew what you were doing you could probably build it in probably 30 minutes it took, us about, took us about maybe three or four hours not really it took us like probably two this is how you build a chicken coop for under 25 bucks 25 bucks get my give or give or take five bucks hope you guys learned something i will link the video though that i got this idea from because he's way better at filming and way better at teaching and he is literally i mean i literally copied it like line for line except mine does not look nearly as good as his so clearly i messed up somewhere but i will link that down in the description below if you guys want to go check out his video if you really are trying to make this you're going to want to go check out this video this video is just kind of like a my half-ass college attempt college try attempt at making one and well i guess we got to get some chickens now thank you guys so much for watching peace